I'm back. Hey, I messed up my rabbit math. I apologize. It's probably a, an un, unintended consequence of working all those hours and getting inadequate sleep. Or I'm just stupid. One or the other. Maybe both. One female rabbit, one doe, will rear eight kits per litter. Each kit will dress out at around nine to ten weeks, will dress out at about two and a half pounds, which means that each doe is producing about 20 pounds of meat per litter, not 50. My bad. So you take that 20 pounds per doe, say she litters four times per year, she will litter more than that five or six times per year, but just call it four times. Okay, so that's 80 pounds of meat per rabbit per year. If you have three does like we did, it's about 240 pounds. Although our realized production was closer to 300 pounds of meat per year with three does and one buck. I'm sure you've heard the term to procreate like rabbits. That is not an exaggeration. They just go and go and go and go. So if you don't stay on top of it, we... <laughs> it's interesting to see how your feed costs fluctuate as well. Feeding four adults versus feeding, you know, four adults and 25 offspring at once. Yeah. And that's why you butcher at about nine to 10 weeks, anywhere between eight and 10 weeks, depending on the breed. But for us, it was right around nine weeks, no more than 10 weeks, because um, their rabbits put on meat at a ratio of four to one. If they eat four pounds of food, they make one pound of meat in, by body weight, right? Whereas cattle are a ratio of seven to one. So rabbits are almost twice as efficient at producing meat as cows are until they begin to mature sexually, right about 12 weeks. Then their meat production, their, their growth pretty much plateaus. And they will continue to grow, but it'll take much longer. It'll take them the rest of the year to achieve their full weight of 12 pounds. And you're throwing way too much feed at that rabbit for the equation to make sense. Your cost per pound of meat goes way up. So, that's one reason you butcher at that point. The other reason is you do not, if four rabbits can make 25 rabbits, we'll call it, that's what, a factor of six, okay, ish. Four rabbits actually make 24 rabbits, so it's a direct factor of six, no ish. See if my math works this time. If those rabbits reach sexual maturity, so what's 24 times six? Four times six is 24. That's 144 rabbits. You don't want that problem, believe me. Believe me, believe me. It's, they're tremendous rabbits, tremendous. They're magnificent. Everybody tells me they're the best rabbits, only the best rabbits. Anyway. Sexually mature rabbits reproduce like rabbits, and the bucks, the males, will kill each other. And the does, if given the opportunity, will castrate the bucks. So, it is not like a happy little rabbit colony. <laughs> it's uh, days of our lives with, you know, the furry edition. So... If you wanted to get meat rabbits, use this math, not the math from the previous video, the blue collar prepping video, use this math. Uh, and then please do your own research. There's a pretty good book called uh, Stories Rabbit Keeping, I believe, or something to that effect. S-T-O-R-E-Y apostrophe S is the author. And um, it has everything you need to know on there. Plus there's this thing called the internet they hide all the information you could ever want right right there on the internet. It's hidden in plain sight. So, 
Now, if you feel convicted to keep Torah, Leviticus says don't eat things that go forth on pause, which is why we don't have rabbits anymore. Uh, but frankly, they were tasty little boogers, man. And they were cheap and effective ways to make meat. So if you don't feel compelled and comply or compelled to comply with Torah, get some meat rabbits. I'm not going to tell you uh, what to do or not to do. That's between you and your maker. But, or, you know, Pastor Joe has meat rabbits that he uses as a renewable source of meat for his animals, his dogs. Something to think about. We paid $200 for the three does, the one buck, for five cages, five waterers, five feeders, and I think, a, oh, a bale of hay, a galvanized 30-gallon trash can, and a about a 50 pound sack of rabbit food which was quite a good deal a gentleman and his wife from our church were liquidating their rabbit stock because his wife had gotten pregnant and they did not want to have to deal with both the uh, rabbits and the newborn baby at the same time so we bought them because my wife was pregnant and uh, we figured it would be a good idea for us to do it so anywho it's entirely doable, but uh, use that math. Two and a half pounds dressed weight per kit at nine weeks. Eight kits per dough is 20 pounds of meat per litter. Four litters per year, approximately 80 pounds of meat per year per dough. So, if you had a family of five to feed per year, you, know, you might, I mean, take it from me, three does and a buck as long as they're all producing uh, will feed a, keep a family of five in meat uh, so an excellent uh, route for SHTF meat production and they're cheap and easy to feed man I mean if you got a weed whacker you got rabbit food take your weed eater and go walk along the fence line and trim all that stuff and throw it in there and yes there's certain times that you know rabbits should have access to dried grass versus green grass and blah 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 and like there's there's some idio idiosyncrasies come on brain idiosyncrasy blah 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 there's some of that big word in there that uh do your research and figure it out but the other thing uh is as long as you have you should have rabbits from different uh bloodlines like your your does and your buck should not be related but rabbits can interbreed um and research that too uh there weird things happen if you know the mother mates with a son but if a son you know mates with a cousin not a problem like Get your animal husbandry down. I don't remember it because I'm not into it anymore, but do a little bit of research on this because you can use the offspring. What we did for, I think three, yeah, three other people was each time we had a litter, we would pull our strongest buck and our three strongest does and give those to other people to start another colony somewhere else. So they would have meat rabbits. And that's important because your buck and your does only have about three to four years of service life in them before they stop producing. So if you want a long-term meat supply, it would behoove you to have multiple does and bucks that are, you know basically self-contained systems of three and one three and one three and one and then you can cross breed and interrelate and go from there and always have breeding stock that is producing meat for you makes sense cool also occasionally you know an animal will get sick and die that's what happens with livestock sometimes animals get sick and die well if that animal is your buck for your rabbits guess what you ain't getting any more baby rabbits and if you don't have any baby rabbits right now, that one of them just happens to have uh, the male genitals, you're not getting any more rabbits, period. So, 
things to think about. But yeah, meat rabbits are a viable option. Um, I can't directly recommend that you get some because of my stance on the subject, but you may want to do your own research. So no judgment here. We have all the love for everybody, unless you're a freaking terrorist, in which case I'll put a hollow point in your brain. All right, later, y'all.